Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to show you a beautiful example of a Sphex ichneumonis, or maybe Sphex ichneumonius, as is sometimes the case with these crazy scientific names. We're not sure the pronunciation on that. So if you happen to know the pronunciation on this, let us know in the comments. Spell it out phonetically, and that way we can all learn from it. Regardless, for this video, we'll use the common name for this wasp, which is the Great Golden Digger Wasp, sometimes known as the Great Golden Sand Digger. The wasp we feature here today, we're not sure if it's male or female, so if you happen to know that as well, please leave it in the comments so we can all benefit from that. This is a native species in North America, a good pollinator, a good biological control agent, which means it feeds its larvae with insects that are often considered to be pest insects. So they're good for your garden and good for cleaning up the local insect population and keeping that other insect population under control. Speaking of good pollinators, we're going to freeze the frame here a little bit because a photo bomber showed up, a little leafcutter bee, and leafcutter bees are great pollinators, so you never want to kill them either. Uh, they're similar to mason bees and they're an important part of the ecosystem along with our great golden digger wasp. They're all native here. So make sure you let them be your friends and uh, never try to poison them or kill them. You'll notice with our pretty orange digger wasp, she has these bright, bright colors and she's quite large and she has these beautiful golden hairs on her thorax, that's her upper body and on her head. And that helps her pollinate your flowers. And as you see here, she's a great little nectar drinker. That's how she feeds herself is through flower nectar. Adults only drink nectar, like a lot of these wasps that we feature on our channel, and the larvae will eat the protein, so the insects that this wasp would collect, usually crickets or katydids, that kind of thing, she'll drag them back down into her uh, subterranean cells that she digs out for her larva, and she will place the prey inside one of these cells along with an egg. And when the egg hatches into larva, the larva will feed on that insect inside the cell until it pupates and becomes an adult wasp. Like most solitary wasps, the digger wasp will not interact with her eggs or her larva once she has laid her egg. She'll seal up that cell along with the prey for the larva to feed on, and then she never sees the larva or the egg again. Uh, solitary wasps do not make colonies, so they don't feed or maintain any nest at all. They simply create a nest, leave the egg, and leave the prey, and then they're on with the rest of their life. Like all the native species of wasps that we encounter here in Indiana and around North America, it's very important that you do not kill these wasps. They're important to the ecosystem. They're important for biological control of other insects. They're important for pollination. Uh, so put that can of wasp killer away. If you want these guys off of your property, if you see them, let us know, we'll come and relocate them for you, but uh, you definitely don't want to kill them. The great golden digger wasps, despite their bright red alert colors, they are actually very docile and very calm around people. They will completely ignore people only inches from them. Uh, unless you directly attack them, they're just not going to bother you. So that's it for today's video. We really do appreciate all the support we've received so far from the likes and subscribes. Thanks again, and have a good one.